Hello everyone, Scott Weir here from Pillow with another Invest Scotland case study and I've just literally seen this one minutes ago and I'm jumping on to show you. Now normally the case studies I do here are of the best, most grand, fantastic, biggest properties in Scotland, again to catch the eye of overseas investors, but this one caught my eye for a different reason and it has multiple uses this. We could have this as our own house. If you're an overseas investor or from London or even Scotland, and you think I want a signature property in one of the best locations in Scotland, then this is it. What we see at the top here, that is the banks of Loch Lomond. Amazing plot here. The price, uh, well, we are just off our offers over half a million. Sneaky estate agents aren't going to be trying to get half a million for that. They're going to be 20% over. So yeah, we're talking 600,000 purchase price. But I want to show you this property here because doing absolutely everything to it, renovating it, putting an extension on, making this a signature property, this is going to be under a million pounds. And this is this is a million pound project, I promise you when you see it. So this is where we are. I know the area well. That's uh, Ben Lomond there. I used to drive past this. We had a lodge on the banks of Loch Lomond here. I drive past it, you know, a couple of times a, a month going to my holiday lodge, and I was desperate to look for plots on here. So, what is something in the country near Loch Lomond? They they really come up, which is why I love this property. Now, let me show you why this caught my eye. Obviously, we can see there, that's Loch Lomond. This is the property. The site plan is amazing, but for just over, offers over half a million. Why am I saying this is a million pound project? Well, we want to be changing this into your dream home or dream vacation rental. And we're gonna to need to do some work to the inside of this. So on the outside, there's a little bit of work to do. When I spotted this online, the post said, this would be great for your own home or for an architect to take on as a project. And think of this as a project. I will show you a video at the end of how this might look. But when we go through, you'll see why I would recommend doing some upgrades to this property. So again, look at the gardens. Sits in three acres, totally surrounded and isolated. It is amazing. Your balcony here, overlooking Loch Lomond. We're probably going to get the sunsets over out the right-hand side of the screen. They've built the balcony, obviously, to take the sunsets into consideration. And we can see a lot of that work, a bit tired. But here we have the inside. Now, probably not to your taste, but we would be probably ripping everything out here. I'm probably not going to keep a lot. There's some nice signature architectural things inside, but we are taking this all out. Now, look at the window space here. We'd be opening that up to patio doors, raised decking, hot tubs, everything. So again, look at the, the, the light coming in there. It's amazing. So we don't need to start chopping the building up. We can use the space there and make it better. Nice things. We'd do some stuff with uh, a bit of damp there. I don't know, but wrap everything out. Again, same with the kitchen, brand new kitchen. Um, open that up, have patio doors outside, bifolding doors. We do amazing things with that. Bathroom's gone, but look at this. Look at this. That's probably they've built that to overlook Loch Lomond. Lying on that bed, that chair there, sitting with a whiskey or a gin, fantastic. I mean, looking out onto your domain, your garden, but lying in that bed, um, all that light coming in is amazing. And if we take some of this out, look at the size of that master bedroom, uh, as fantastic, I love it. And I suspect this wouldn't be to your taste, but look, another big bedroom there, massive, uh, patio doors out onto a balcony. Uh, and again, you might want to keep that, but it may not be to your taste. Another bedroom, bathroom, rip all these out, start again. Quite nice open plan that we could flow through. That would look nice. Some things we would keep here, so we'd definitely keep that. Um, that's quite nice as well. Back to your balcony overlooking that. Suspect right in the middle here are going to be your sunset. And look at the property in the outside. So fantastic grounds. Demolish that. Amazing. Look at the, the plot there. So offers over half a million. Um, it's going to go for over that for sure. But if we start sticking on, let's see. 
here, an extension, raised deck, patio doors, you know, another couple of bedrooms onto that. Um, lots of cool things we could do with that property. And that's coming under budget of a million pounds. So 600 and 650 purchase, perhaps. Uh, I've not looked into it. I've just literally seen it a few minutes ago. Um, bit of an extension, definitely renovate it all the way through, super high end. And the reason I like this is we might be able to do more than that. You might cut that right down the middle where those trees are and make one your garden and some eco lodges in here, some wooden lodges, um, and you can make a business out of that. So we could have the main house that we could definitely rent out, and I'll show you a, an example of how this could look and this as a rental business on the banks of Lot Lomond, not far, but we could put some lodges there as well. I mean, there's some amazing, fantastic. So that's the property. Um, let's have a look at how this might look. Now, I love this um, property here. And this is this was an older style property, very similar to the one you've seen. And these developers here um, have done an amazing job. And let's have a quick look at this 50 second video to show you. They've taken the old house here and done what I think we should do with this one. I'm showing you now. Look at all the light. Those doors open up. Wow. So we get the gist there and these developers have taken that property and made it and they've, they've literally made that into a holiday home. So that was a property very similar to this one and they've made that into a business and you can imagine they are going to get some amazing nightly rates for that. So as a business, that is going to be fantastic. And we can see the night shoot of that one. Let's uh, see outside. So again, we can recreate that with this. And by the way, these guys are builders and developers. You could even get them to do it. I know the, the owners of that company. You could probably get them to do it as well. So final reason I like this, obviously, as a signature property to own personally, um, it's pretty good. Um, you're going to get a million pound property here that's going to go up in value. You're definitely going to be able to take that plot and massively increase your investment there. So on the banks of Loch Lomond, with all those uh, three acres and all that land, you can have your own signature house to live in. You could perhaps get some planning permission to put some lodges in um, and make that a business, so a vacation rental business with some other properties on the grounds. But another reason, I like Loch Lomond, they've really, really limited the development here across the top. You're not really allowed to bang developments up on the waterfront or try to convert con serve it but there's a big thing in London, uh, England Flamingo Land which is a theme park um, and they have um, trying to put one not far from here if we look at this map just down at the bottom here at Balak they're trying to do a Flamingo Land so they're trying to make a big resort not as fancy as anything in Florida um, or Disneyland but it is a theme park so Lots of objections there, but if they go ahead with this, and I suspect after lockdown, they want to boost tourism. If MD's willing to start renovating that area, then they're going to be building a theme park and holiday resort there. So what happens when they build a big you know, nationwide attraction for the whole of the UK on the banks of Loch Lomond? Your little property there is going to go up in value and you're going to have a rental business, vacation rental business, very much like the one I showed you. So I'm going to keep my eyes open on this one. Um, whether it goes ahead or not, again, they don't like renovations in Loch Lomond, so um, we will see. But if that does go ahead, this old fashioned property will go up in value. It'll be a great vacation rental business. And I think with uh, a little bit of inspiration from a, an architect, you can make it very much like this amazing property here.